Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful. Perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well. No doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods. It surely must be. Oh, what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. And we rise now for the Danish national anthem. Russia have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too, but certainly if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this team. And that gets things running. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Christian Eriksen. He's super accurate with both feet, Peter, and able to deliver a cross or a through ball with just the perfect bend or indeed weight. All this allied to great awareness and vision, which make him a massive creative talent. What I really like about Ericsson, though, is that he's got the energy and the determination to keep going for 90 minutes every game. He's a trier. Uh, looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. The referee has resisted the temptation to go to his pocket. It's just a stern lecture. Knocks it away. Out for a throw. Hoiberg looking cross field, changing the point of attack. And here's Ericsson. Oh, that's a fine challenge. Oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Tries to get it forward quickly. Christensen. Kiar. Hoists it forward. Hoists it over to the other flank. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or, or just getting a runner through the middle now. Delaney. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say. Both must have come in with a view of, of not making any early mistakes. So we're seeing some conservatism here. Russia still to register a shot on target. Beautifully done. Now the cross. Danger averted for now. 
more than happy to take the muscular approach. Out to the left it goes. Gets away from his opponent. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Put a stop to that. And it's Ericsson. Ericsson shoots! And he's there to make a great save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Played into space out wide. Goalkeeper's ball. Juba. That's great strength on the ball. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Good defending, albeit from an unexpected source. Well, they say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. As he found his man. And it's been taken straight back. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. And here's Ericsson. Delivers a cross. It is quite a run he's making here. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. And if anyone is going to break the deadlock, now would be a good time. This could spell danger. It's one! Oh, that's a fine save! The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Clear away. Nicely controlled. Time to deliver. Loose ball. Who's going to get there? Russia have a free kick. Christensen can get it clear. Juba played into space out wide. I've managed to get it away. Oh, the ball's come loose. He's had a go. Oh, great save, real class. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. They've played it short. Ball swung in. Too much on that, it's gone out. And it's played forward. Delaney. And the first 45 minutes are up. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So there was the first half.
What an end to the half, Peter. Uh, a lot of the best action of the half coming at, at the very end, and I get the feeling the second half may well start in, in similar fashion, as we'd love to see this momentum maintained. So I'm looking forward to what's to come. Russia head to the dressing room, not yet having broken through. Tight, cagey game. Are the team any further forward than they were when they started out? Yeah, he's fouled him there. Denmark get it back again and the defence can get it clear referee's given a throw Juba goes for goal his reputation is better than what we've just seen Juba. And out to safety. Gets it back. Jikia. That's meat. Plenty waiting in the middle. Shapes to shoot! And for a moment, time stood still. Well, I think the opposition was pretty sloppy in creating a problem for themselves then, but he was onto it so quickly and very nearly made them pay. Christensen goes looking. Goal is still. Either side really getting onto the front foot. And he heaves it forward. Denmark have it back and they can go again. Jard plays it forward quickly. to the second half and still there's nothing between them and Ericsson good stop that wasn't easy well what can I say truly wonderful goalkeeper forward it goes questions were asked but he's given the answers Plays it out to the flank. Hoiberg. Kia. Christensen. Kia. Kia plays it forward. That could spell trouble. Hoiberg did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. And back to base. Kia. Christensen tries to switch the play. Kasper Schmeichel is there to take. How many interceptions have we seen now? Someone's got to up the quality and, and set an example. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Looking to win it with time against them. He 
He's got the ball glued to his feet. It's on a plate. Russia showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tries to dink it in. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Well played, he saw that coming. And it's played forward. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Hoists it forward. And that's been leave it clear. Lovely bit of skill. Here's the chance to cross. Finds himself eased off the ball. Well, both sides might have to settle for a draw here, although there's still a chance for one last fling. Golovin. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Pumps it into the area. And that's it. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. A little cutting edge at either end. And it finishes nil-nil. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Russia can always take more positives from a result like this. Yes, there is some tidying up to do, but some real promise too. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.